Global markets remain volatile, with equities starting the month lower before declining long rates toward the end of the month brought investors back to stocks. Interest rates fell as investors read the Federal Reserve's communication as relatively dovish. Further, U.S. economic indicators have softened, including a somewhat weaker employment report for October. With equity prices above fair value in our opinion, we think bad news about the economy will no longer be considered simply good news about Fed rate moves, leading to our global underweight to stocks. Let's take a closer look. With the recent decline in interest rates, investors pulled forward their anticipated timing and increased the magnitude of expected rate cuts in 2024 based on the futures market. However, we expect the Fed to keep rates elevated until it sees clear signals of a deteriorating labor market. We see some additional downside to longer-term rates, but we are less convinced that downside will be cheered by equity investors. The market does not appear to be priced for a material slowdown in growth, and we see consumer spending slowing due to depleted savings and already higher credit card debt. For the two-thirds of Americans who are homeowners, however, real wage growth may be better than it appears as those consumers are not feeling the shelter inflation component of the consumer price index to the same extent, thanks to fixed-rate mortgages. This suggests some potential durability of spending capacity to help offset pressure elsewhere. In terms of other potential risks to the economy, the conflict in the Middle East continues to heat up, but it hasn't ignited oil prices, which moved lower over the past month. We are monitoring the situation closely as an escalation that threatens oil supplies could negatively impact global growth. We are also monitoring any developments around a possible U.S. government shutdown, including the potential for headline risk should it act as a catalyst for a downgrade of the U.S. debt rating, as well as some economic impact if prolonged. Macro trends outside the U.S. are already weak, with parts of Europe appearing recessionary and an economic recovery in China remains elusive. In our global policy model that guides Northern Trust portfolio allocation, we maintained our relatively modest underweight to risk, including a global underweight to equities. We prefer high-yield bonds to develop market equities, given attractive yields and high yields potential to limit losses if equity markets fall. We also favor natural resources to emerging market equities and maintain an overweight to cash.